Hi, I'm Yorick from MC Solent Electrical. I'm here with five tips to get the most out of your new battery. First, time of use. Make the most out of the different tariffs during the day that we now get in Queensland. Buy low, sell high, join a VPP, try and charge a battery when it's free through something like Ovo. These are great ways to see the biggest return on your investment once you've bought a battery. Two, use the solar as much as possible. Yes, you've got a battery, but your battery power is your most expensive power that you've bought. So what you want to do is shift as much into the day as you can to use your solar power where possible, and then try and minimize your nighttime usage like you would even without a battery. But now you've got a little bit of headroom um, with your battery covering your nighttime loads. Three, know your high load items. So these are your appliances that use the most power uh, in your house. We're talking dryers, air conditioning, pool pumps, you know, hot water systems. You want to use these during the day and not drain your battery over dinner time, putting the dryer on at, at late in the afternoon or late in the evening if you can avoid it. Obviously, if you do have to use it, your battery's there for that, but try and use as much of your solar power during the day and save your battery uh, for your nighttime items like lighting, cooking dinner, and so that'll get you through as much the night as possible. Number four, don't let your electric hot water system drain your battery. So one of the really clever things that I've sort of come across recently is that it's actually better to heat your hot water a little bit earlier in the day, ideally when you're producing lots of solar power than instead of waiting till later in the day. So we ran into a couple of issues with the catch where it was a little bit of an overcast day and it would kick in around about you know one or two o'clock and completely drain the battery just before uh, the sun was to set. So what we're going to try and do is we'll put your hot water onto a timer and get it to run earlier in the day so that by the afternoon you've got a hopefully fully charged battery on even those less optimal days. And number five, smart EV charging. So I've got the Watt Pilot here in front of me and as well as the Tesla um, wall connector. There's a few different smart EV chargers on the market but one of the things that uh, you really want to do as much as possible is use your solar power when it's being produced. So try and have your car charge up using the excess uh, if you have something like a Watt Pilot or you have a Tesla car and a Tesla battery and a Tesla wall connector, you can basically set it up so that you prioritize. Maybe you charge the battery a little bit first and then once your battery's at a minimum level, you'll then charge the car and then once the car's finished, you, you'll charge the rest of the way. Anyway, look, if you have any other tips, leave some in the comments down below. At the end of the day, you've got a battery now, make the most out of it. Um, but, uh, you know, try and conserve that battery power where you can so you're not draining it a little bit too early in the evening.